Hey, this is the franchise, Shane Douglas. For the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, and you're watching. Oh, blue, 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 blue. And you're watching. Yamane, aka WWE. And here's this podcast with Ollie Harper, my man. <laughs> And you're watching the Ali Harper Show on YouTube. What is going on, everybody? It's me, Ollie, aka TNS Attitude, and I am back again here on YouTube.com for all things professional wrestling. Now, today, guys, it's going to be another video on the road to the Bash in Berlin trip, and today is going to be some early predictions in terms of the match card for Bash in Berlin. Now, of course, I appreciate that we already do have one of the main events announced for Bash in Berlin. We will be, in fact, be seeing Randy Orton taking on the champ. Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now this, I am very, very happy with this announcement. I think, you know, Randy getting a big main event match at this point in his career is going to be a real treat to see, you know. I'm happy that they've sort of moved him away from the New Bloodline storyline and they're giving him this sort of, you know, this is like a Randy Orton main event match for me. You know, we've not really seen Randy featured in the, the main events on this sort of level since, oh my God, going back few years now, you know, since probably before his, uh, you know, the back injury. I mean, you know, that back injury after WrestleMania 38 that pretty much took him out for nearly two years, which was just wild, you know. But uh, it will be great to see Randy and Gunther. I think that is going to be a really great match. I'm very hyped to see that. And I think that match is definitely one of the things to be definitely big and very much excited for Bash in Berlin. But in terms of the rest of the show, of course, we've got SmackDown on the Friday. And of course, with uh, the SmackDown show, I feel like that's where they can definitely throw a few of these other matches down there. Because obviously, Triple H likes to keep these uh, smaller shows to just five matches, it would feel like. So I'm feeling like, like I said, I'm feeling like it's going to be a five match card. If it's six, that would be really cool. But I think definitely five matches is a solid number to really have as a estimation for uh, Bash in Berlin. In terms of the rest of the show, um, you, you know, I think you're looking at obviously outside of that World Heavyweight Championship match. Uh, I think Roman will be on Bash in Berlin just because Bash in Berlin being in Germany, a big PLE, first big PLE in Germany. I think Roman has to be a part of that. Uh, just on the basis of like Roman being a part of Money in the Bank in London, you know, that was at the time a big PLE in London. And I think that Roman definitely has to be part of these first time shows, these first big PLEs. So, yeah, I, I see Roman being at Bash in Berlin, uh, whether they team him up with Cody and it would almost be like... Um, it would be kind of crazy having the, the strange bedfellows of having the tag team of Cody and Roman Reigns when they were, of course, the main event of WrestleMania 40. Uh, but that would be pretty cool. Roman, obviously, right now, we know we don't know uh, whether he's going to be face or heel, but at the same time, he came out, he helped Cody at SummerSlam. So there's definitely that to bear in mind. But if they, you know, they decide to do like a tag team match at Bash in Berlin with, say, Solo and Tamatonga against Cody and Roman. That'd be pretty cool. They can also return Paul Heyman at this point. So that would be pretty cool. Um, so there's that. That would be a very strong main event to have as well. Um, I also feel like, you know, Punk. Punk and Drew could definitely have another match if they decide to do it at Bash in Berlin. Uh, at the same time, some people think that they're just going to hold off for bad blood. But at this point, you know, Punk's back now. So... I feel like, you know, he's been injured for a number of months, so it's definitely worth getting Punk on these PLEs now, you know, have him work for his money, you know. I'm not saying he, you know, he was doing a damn good job when he was injured to really help sell the program with him and Drew. And, you know, that whole program was built around, the, at the time, you know, Punk wasn't even wrestling at the time, you know, he was injured. So it was very cool that uh, they were able to build all that for the number of months that they did with Punk on the shelf. So now let's see, you know, but I, I, I see Punk wrestling in back Berlin as well. They're going to make this the biggest like PLE they're going to do in Germany. Um, I think they're going to go out and pull out all the big guns for this one. Um, this Seth Rollins, Bronson Reed thing, 
I mean, potentially, yeah, they could throw that out on Bash in Berlin. But at the same time, I feel that may be more of a Raw match. Maybe just something they'll throw out on Raw. Um, so, you know. But at this point, so we've got, of course, the World Heavyweight Championship match. We've got a Cody, potentially a Cody-Roman tag team match against New Bloodline. Um, you could maybe throw in another mix. You could throw in a mixed tag if you really want to and do uh, Dominic and Liv against, um, you know, Rhea and Damian Priest. You could do that. Or they could go in the other direction and do Finn Balor and Damian Priest, which I feel is kind of where they're going to go with this. And they would throw that out at Bash in Berlin, I think would be pretty solid. Do uh, Finn and Priest at Berlin. I think that would, again, another strong match. So that's three. Um, then you've got to think about the women's match. But at the same time, if you only do have five matches and you really want to try and get everybody on the show that you can, this might actually be more helpful to have that mixed tag team match in there. So if they decide to go with uh, Dominic and Liv against uh, Priest and Rhea, that would be cool, with Finn getting involved in that somehow as well. So that's three matches. Um, the rest of the show, I would f imagine that you'll throw in a women's tag team title match. Um, so I could, you know, I could definitely see that in there. Uh, with whoever they decide to go with. Then again, that might also be thrown in for the SmackDown on the night before. So that's also something to, to bear in mind. Um, and then, yeah, I guess it's really just uh, the Punk Punk's match. So that would, that would be five matches. So whether they decide to do Punk and Drew again, or they do... I can't see them... I feel at this point, they're not really going to do Punk and Seth. I feel like Seth's now as being involved with Bronson Reed. That seems to be like the... Uh, the roadblock that Seth's going to deal with. So, you know, I think Punk and Seth won't mix it up for a, a while now. I feel like they're trying to kind of steer uh, Seth away from the Punk, you know, stuff for now. And they can go back to that, whether they decide to, you know, run that round till WrestleMania, perhaps. That would be pretty cool. So that's something to bear in mind. You know, I might even do a WrestleMania 41 predictions video as well, because, you know, that's something else I want to really talk about on another video. But, um... You know, so we've got, at this point, we have a World Heavyweight Championship. We've got the tag team match with Cody and Roman against New Bloodline. Uh, mixed tag match, that's three. You would say Braun Breaker defending the Intercontinental Championship in Berlin, I think, is pretty possible as well. Um, who do he face? Well, you see Sammy's going to have his rematch. Uh, I'll throw it out there, Ilya Dragunov. I think Ilya Dragunov and... Bron Breaker in Berlin would be pretty damn good. I think that would be a really great match if uh, they decide to uh, go with that. You know, they had a pretty solid Raw match a few weeks back, actually. So that would be that would be great. Um, and yeah, you know, all in all, I think that uh, and I've, we've got the US title as well. But again, that could be something they could decide to do with SmackDown. And I think this is one of the things they like to do. You know, if you if you're going to go to the SmackDown show the night before these smaller PLEs. Um, they can definitely stretch it out quite a lot and have matches that could have, could have been on the PLE on the SmackDown. So, you know, there's something to bear in mind. But in terms of activities through the week, you know, people have said to me, you know, do, do we think we're going to see any, uh, any meet and greets during that week? You never know. I would imagine there will be a superstore or a pop-up shop somewhere in Germany for Bash in Berlin, most likely, just because... They do them all the time for these PLEs now. It seems to be just the thing they do. Um, and I would imagine that uh, whether they decide to really go with it. I feel for me that because it, again, because it's in Germany, it's a big like first time thing doing it in Germany. You know, I think that the, the potential of having some in-store meet and greets is pretty high. Uh, I just on the basis feel that like they want to make a big splash. So whether Smiths gets involved and they do something in the Smiths, because there are Smiths in Germany, uh, they could maybe have something, have some, have some meet and greets or something. So that'd be all pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I would have to wait and see. But yeah, Bash in Berlin is in a few weeks. It is, it is actually a few weeks time, actually. But I'm really excited for it. You know, I booked this stuff pretty much uh, in May. So I'm excited for Berlin. Uh, flying out of East Midlands Airport, so that should be fun. And uh, yeah, I got uh, my little apartment all booked for that. So that's going to be cool for them the days I'm there. And, uh, and yeah, so like I say, hopefully I'll do a few more videos 
running up to Berlin and uh, we'll be definitely be doing a vlog when I'm there. But that is it from me today, guys. Thank you very so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and like. And if you are going to bash in Berlin, please do let me know. Well, just please let me know below this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts, where you're sitting. What's your thoughts? Where's your, you know, what, what do you want to do in Germany? I mean, I've got some non sort of wrestling ideas I want to do. You know, I'm definitely going to go see some of the sites. I'm going to definitely, I want to do one of those river cruises as well. Taking a nice stein of beer, that'd be pretty damn cool. So yeah, there's a few things I'm looking at doing. But anyway, that is it from me, guys. And I'll see you all very soon for another video. I'm out, guys.